Hey everyone, welcome to AG Tech. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to announce to you that the Windows 11 feature update has finally been released, and Microsoft has announced the release of the feature update themselves on their social media pages like Twitter and on their website as well. I will leave the link to those pages in the description in case you want to check it out for more information. But in this video, I'm going to be going over the new features and this time show you two methods to download and install this update on your PC. So first, let's take a moment to talk about the new features that you will get in 23H2. First feature is the chat, now Microsoft Team Free. It will be pinned by default to the taskbar, but you can always remove it just like any other taskbar icon. The second feature, this one I didn't mention in the previous video, it's the Windows 11 system labels in the start menu. Windows 11 system components will show a system label under them. For example, if I go to all apps right here and I scroll down to the game bar, get help and get started. Those are some of the Windows 11 components that are installed by default. So those apps will now have a little system label under them as you can tell. And the last feature is being able to rename your device inside of nearby sharing now, something that wasn't available to do before. As you can tell, it's now available. All you do is click rename and this will bring you to the system about page. All you want to do is click rename this PC and you can rename it to whatever you'd like. And that's about it for the features. It had been confirmed that 23H2 wouldn't be an update with many features because most of them got transferred into the Moment 4 update. But now you're probably asking yourself, how can I get my hands on 23H2? Well, there are currently two methods to get this update. The easiest one is via Windows Update in the settings. So you can get it there by going to your Start menu, going to your Settings, and then going to Windows Update. Here you want to make sure that get the latest updates toggle is on and when that's set you want to click check for updates and after it's done you should get the 23H2 to download and install. So the speed at which the update will install is based on your internet speed and your system. So if your inter so if your internet is fast you'll be done faster but on the other hand if your internet is slow the wait will be a little longer some of you may not get this update right away because it will be released gradually and this is where the next method comes in if you don't want to wait for it in the windows update you can just get it from the microsoft website all right so here we are on the download windows 11 page on the microsoft website and here you can download the latest version of windows 11 which is currently 23H2. So for this method, you will download the ISO and install 23H2. So what you want to do is scroll down to download Windows 11 disk image ISO. You want to select Windows 11. Go ahead and click download now. Then you're going to select the product language. And for this, I'm going to choose English and then click confirm. To finish this part, all you have to do is click the 64 bit download and this will start the download of the ISO. So when the ISO is finished downloading, all you want to do is click open file. It might take a while, just keep that in mind. And then what it's going to do is it's going to open up this folder inside of uh, your PC. And then you want to just click this setup.exe and this will open the Windows 11 setup. And all you want to do now is just finish all of the, complete the installation process. Just complete the installation process and you guys will be on 23H2. And yeah guys, that's about it for 23H2. Those are the new features and that's, those are two methods that you can use to download and install uh, this feature update. And yes, there was a lot of confusion, but it still got released anyways. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this update. And if you guys have time, comment down below if you guys liked this update or not. Because why not? Also, if you liked this video and it was helpful to you, consider subscribing to my channel for more of these Windows 11 updates and videos. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.